Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Locke Loses at Pokemon. Today, we will be losing with the round deck. The round deck is centered around one of my favorite full art Pokemon, who is simultaneously one of the least playable, Meloetta EX. Meloetta EX has the round attack that does 30 damage times the number of Pokemon you possess that have the round attack. So, depending on how full your bench is, it will do between 30 and 150 damage. Now, the first thing you will note about this round attack is its very steep cost of 3 Psychic Energy to activate. For this reason, Meloetta is not our primary attacker. Her uh, primary use is to sit on the bench and look beautiful and enable Seismitoad. His round ability costs only two colorless energy, so it is far more accessible. We run a full 444 evolutionary line of Temple, Palpitoad, and Seismitoad. You'll note that Palpitoad also has the round ability, round attack. Uh, his, however, only does 20 damage times the number of Pokemon, and it costs three colorless to activate. So. When possible, we want Seismitoad to be our primary attacker, though we can have our bench full of Palpitoad and Meloetta in order to have enough round attacking Pokemon to do maximum damage. In order to facilitate getting uh, this evolutionary chain in play, we run one copy of Evo Soda, which allows us to search our deck for a card that evolves from one of our Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. And we run three rare candy, which allow us to skip straight from Temple to Seismitoad if we have a Temple in play and the Seismitoad and the rare candy in hand. This is a deck that you will see beginners put together because Palpitoad, Temple, and uh, another Pokemon that has the round attack, Exploud, are found in the Rallying Cry. Uh, theme deck. The Rallying Cry theme deck is a deck that you can get multiple times actually by inputting uh, codes so beginners can quickly get the core pieces they need to put together this deck and Meloetta EX given her uh, relative lack of usability is pretty cheap. I have seen four full art Meloettas for a single pack on, prime, on public trades before, so it's very easy to get a hold of them. Rounding out our trainers, we use computer search for our A-spec because we are going to be wanting to do a lot of searching in our deck to find our round Pokemon and our enablers to make that happen. One energy retrieval to get cards for, get energy cards from our discard pile back into our hand because the sad truth is we're going to be losing uh, a few of our uh, attacking Pokemon because their HP is so low. Escape Rope forces our opponent to switch out his active Pokemon with one on his bench, and then after he does that, allows us to do the same. Repeat Ball allows us to get another Meloetta or uh, another Temple or Palpitoad, whatever we have on our bench presently. Four Ultra Balls let us find Pokemon that we don't already have on the bench. We run one copy of Switch, three copies of Versus Seeker, two Colrus, two copies of Lysander, three copies of N, two copies of Pokemon Fan Club to get us Meloetta EX or Tim Pole, one copy of Professor Birch's Observations, three copies of Professor Sycamore, two copies of Skyla, and two copies of Teammates, because once again, we expect our Pokemon to get knocked out somewhat frequently, so being able to tutor for two cards, any two cards we want after that happens, is a boon. And finally, Silver Bangle, to give us that extra 30 damage reach we need to knock out in one hit uh, most EX Pokemon in the format, if we have the full 150 damage on round. Energy-wise, fairly simple. We run four double colorless energy, the maximum that we can, 
and four psychic energy. So that is round. Let's go lose with it. Looks like we are up against a fairy deck. Ah, I see. I'm not the only one who chooses tails. Um, does this deck want to go first? Yes, I suppose it does, because we want to evolve our Pokemon as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, this looks like a pretty decent opening start. We'll begin with Meloetta. and put a temple on the bench. Now, the, the bad thing about this is we don't have any draw supporters, so it's going to be a an uphill battle. On the opposite side of the uh, bench here, there is Spritzy. She evolves into Aromatees, which allows uh, fairy energy to be transferred freely amongst all of his Pokemon once she is in play. So for now, she's probably target number one. Ouch. Enhanced Hammer starts us off to knock out our double colorless energy. This may be a very short match. Skylight to get Professor Juniper. Apparently, he's not in love with his hand either and wants to dump the whole thing next turn. That helps us somewhat. Well, there was a Mega Gardevoir in the discard pile, so... Ooh, a full art one at that. So, we know that we are going to be dealing with a Gardevoir EX-style fairy deck, as opposed to the Florge's Hard Charm style. Alright, 10 damage on our Meloetta, and we take our next turn. Let's go ahead and evolve Tim Pole into Palpatode. Put our Double Colorless back on Palpatode. And in the turn, hoping that we get one of our draw supporters soon. And as promised, there's Aromatease. Her fairy transfer lets you move as often as you like during your turn. Fairy energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. Okay. And Gardevoir EX is already in play. Gardevoir is formidable herself, but... It's the Mega Gardevoir that we have, really have to fear. Oh, another Palpatode. This is just going very, very badly for us. I honestly don't know what we can do here. If he has one more Fairy Energy, he knocks out Meloetta next turn. Round is only doing 40. On Palpitoad. Yeah, this is extremely bad for us. I think we just got a really bad, unlucky start. Yeah, there's no good play here. I assume Skyla is going to be looking for a Gardevoir Spirit Link. Oh no, Enhanced Hammer. No. Yeah, I don't want to play this anymore. Let's get a real video. Fighting in Steel. Hmm. There's a couple things this could be. Let's wait and see. This deck definitely wants to go first. 
Okay, we have a fairly decent, all things considered, start. Uh, we're going to have Meloetta active. And put Temple on our bench because we want to evolve him as quickly as possible. Alright, we begin with Lucario, who has a weakness to Psychic, so... We're gonna go against our usual strategy here, and... Get Meloetta ready to hit that Lucario hard, quickly. With Brilliant Voice plus Silver Bangle, she's gonna do 50 damage. And that's going to double to 100 because of his weakness. So, for right now, we're going to ignore our round strategy and focus on psychic damage. Battle Compressor. He could either be getting Steel Energy or Trainers. He's getting... Interesting. He just threw a Machamp in his discard. Oh, he's playing Maxi's Hidden Ball trick. He wants to get one card in his hand and then bring the Machamp into play. Let's see if he goes up to seven or four. Come on, Tails. Yep. Awesome. Just four. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Hmm. Evolve Palpitoad. Energy up Palpitoad. And then... Professor Sycamore hoping for something good. There's a Meloetta, there's a fan club. Okay, this is not the worst thing in the world. I think for right now we don't have anything further to do other than just hit for a, a whole bunch. So, Brilliant Voice is the other part of his attack. Uh, flip a coin of heads, he's asleep. If Tails, he's confused. I'm hoping for Tails. Okay. I'm confused why Silver Bangle didn't go off there. Uh, because it only works if you put it on a non-EX Pokemon. Okay, well, so uh, the lesson learned for this uh, particular outing is read the card. Lucario is confused, and that's good for us. <sighs> Seven. Another 40 damage will be 110. Yeah, at this point, I think it's worth losing the Meloetta just to get some more damage on him. So, that's what we're going to do. Still confused. Alright, he's conceded. He doesn't have another basic to bring up, and he knows that Lucario's time is uh, limited, so I guess that's the smart thing to do. Well, there you have it two short, one sided games, and that's 
probably all you're ever really going to have with rounds, so... I have failed to lose, and I have succeeded in losing, so I'll call this week a draw. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. We'll see you uh, next time.